Hey, welcome back to the set, y'all. This is Good Groceries with Matt Hussey. I am Matt Hussey. I appreciate you stopping by. Today, we're going Cajun, y'all. We're gonna do some jambalaya on the Blackstone griddle. We're gonna do some beautiful shrimp. We're gonna do some beautiful andouille sausage. We got some chicken. We got the holy trinity, y'all. That's that onions, celery, and bell peppers. Y'all set tight. This is gonna be some good groceries. Some good groceries. So my inspiration behind this dish is my old buddy down in South Kakalak. That's right, Butch Bennett from Cooking with the Crazy Pop. I was looking for some ideas on this. I was wanting this rice dish, wanted it to be Cajun. Wasn't quite sure I came across his video. So I reached out to my buddy Butch and this is what he had to say. Hey, Mr. Hussey. Man, I am honored that you are gonna recreate my griddle jambalaya. This dish is so full of flavor. That chicken, that shrimp, that andouille sausage, all the bell pepper, celery, garlic, green onions, everything put together is gonna make some really good groceries. Hey, I appreciate you, Butch, letting me recreate this dish. If you haven't already, y'all, go over to Butch's channel, give him some love, too. Hey, with that said, let's get started with this dish, okay? First things first, y'all, we gotta get this holy trinity done. That holy trinity is onions, peppers, and celery. All right, so we got all our vegetables done. Now we're gonna get to the meat of this thing, like literally the meat. So the first thing we're gonna chop up, this is just some andouille sausage that we got. This andouille sausage, you've never had it before. It's got a little bit of a bite to it. It's a little smoky, really, really works well with this dish. All right, let's move on to our shrimp. This is uh, some extra large shrimp, 24 pieces, the 31 pieces per pound. These got the shell on, so we're just gonna take these shells off. I'm gonna leave the tails on, so you can do whatever you like. We got all of our shrimp. They are peeled and they are also deveined. They were deveined before. That makes them kind of easy to peel at that point. But if they're not deveined, you do want to make sure you do that. Just take a sharp knife and just kind of run through there. There's a little black vein that goes through there. I'm not going to tell you what that black is. I think you can figure it out for yourself. Uh, you want to remove that. All right, the last piece of this puzzle, we got the yard bird, old chicken that we need to cut up. I'm using chicken breasts here. Butch used chicken thighs. I hope I'm not regretting not using thighs, but sometimes I like the breast better. I know I'm in the minority, but hey, I'm sorry. We got everything prepped. Now it's time to get it on the griddle. You do want to pre-warm your griddle beforehand, maybe about five minutes before you start cooking. That'll just help everything kind of progress, all right? First things first, we want to get about two, three tablespoons of butter down. Then we're going to add our holy trinity, those onions, peppers, and celery. And we're going to look at that sauteed onto the Blackstone. Want to move it around. The idea here is you want a nice sweat on these bad boys. All right, so once your vegetables are nice, soft, kind of sauteed nicely, you want to take some of that hardness out. You don't want to cook them to where they're not nothing, but you want to, they want a little bit of something. So just like that right there, perfect for me. After the vegetables are done, we're going to send them over to the other side. Now we're going to get this side prepped to do our chicken. Our griddle top is up to temperature. You see these wisps of smoke coming up off the top? It's ready. Your oil's also shimmering. That oil's dancing like a ballerina. Now, you wanna move your chicken breast around. You don't wanna leave it clumped up like that because you want everything to have a little bit of surface patch. We're gonna use some of this Blackstone Bayou blend. We're gonna come in here and sprinkle all over the chicken. I wanna come in too with a little bit of this Knorr chicken bouillon. This gives everything a nice little flavor. Put in a little few pats of butter just for safe measures. After about a minute or so, just move your chicken around, get some more color on those other sides. All right, that chicken is probably about halfway done. We're just gonna add our andouille sausage right here to the middle of the griddle. Move our sausage around, make sure it's got all good contact patch. Our andouille sausage, it's already kind of cooked. So really all we gotta do is put a little char on it. Hey, while you're at it, hit that thumbs up button for me. I sure would appreciate it. If you want to, leave a comment. I'd like to interact with you. So both chicken and the andouille sausage, it's perfect. It's all the way cooked through. We're gonna put our chicken and our andouille sausage just over here kind of together. We want to get ready for our rice. So one thing that Butch did, and I thought this was very, very clever, he used just some ready rice. I thought, you know, that's a pretty good idea. I was running a little behind on time, so I didn't have to make my own rice. I'm just using this jasmine rice. It's already ready to go. Just dump it onto the griddle. All right, so you just want to, this rice, sometimes it can be a little, a little bit of a pickle to deal with. And uh, so you just want to kind of get it warm, and then you just want to kind of, just kind of come in here with your spatula and break it up. All right, so once you got your rice worked in, kind of everything's just kind of loose. There's a few little clumps, that's okay. We're still gonna work this around a little bit more. We're gonna add our vegetables and we're gonna add, we're gonna use all of our meat here. 
We're gonna stir that around. That looks awesome. This is Bayou Fried Rice, y'all. I mean, look at this. It looks beautiful. While our jambalaya is cooking, we're gonna get some green onions ready for whenever it's done. I like to cut these at a diagonal. I think it looks cool because I'm cool, all right? We have everything incorporated right here. I've actually got the burner over here. I got it off. So this right here is just kind of just, just hanging out, just loosey-goosey. They're saying, hey, the sausage is saying, hey, chicken, what you doing, man? It's like, man, I'm just hanging out, man, just hanging out, We're chilling. Last thing, shrimp. Once the griddle kind of comes up to a temperature, you see a little bit of smoke. You don't want it really, really hot, but you want it a good amount where you can put the shrimp down and it's gonna cook really, really fast. We're gonna season these up with a little bit of this Bayou blend also. Toss these around. All right, our shrimp, it's not quite done. They don't have much more, so we're just gonna put everything together. That shrimp's gonna continue cooking through because we're gonna add a little bit more flavor to this. Ooh, doggy, look at that. All right, everybody at home, say it with me. Dang it, boy. A little bit more of this Bayou blend, a little bit more of this chicken powder. This right here is Worcestershire sauce. A little bit of W sauce. Now we're just gonna mix this all up. I'd say that's a winner winner jambalaya dinner. All right, we're just gonna plate this up. Whoo hoo, boy, that is a load of goodness right there. I will say, I'm sorry. I forgot to put the garlic in. I got garlic right here and I forgot it. Don't forget your garlic. Don't be like hussy. What a beautiful dish. Now we're gonna just go come in here with our green onions that we sliced earlier. We're just gonna come in here and just make it rain on this. Boy, if you got company coming over, sitting in the middle of the table, the Andersons are gonna be like, dang it, boy, that's some good groceries. And I'll agree. All right, here's the fun part of the job. Let's give these groceries a try. And I cannot wait. I'm just gonna come in here. We'll try to get a little bit of everything to try. I want one of those shrimps. I want some chicken. Want that sausage? All right, let's everybody get on a spoon here. Cheers, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm. Dang. I get a little heat from that Bayou blend. It's not overly spicy, it's just, just a little bit of heat. There's some warmth also coming from that sausage. And y'all, the Holy Trinity provides a nice little crunch, nice little sweetness too. Dang, this is a slam dunk. It's so easy too. Hey Butch, I appreciate you sharing this recipe with me. Dude, this thing is money, let me tell you. Hey, I appreciate you stopping in, giving this a look. Hey, head on over to the Blackstone Network where you'll find all kinds of awesome recipes just like this. I'm Matt Hussey, that's some good groceries.